Hi, I'm JC. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going to be talking about what you should wear to all those weddings you have to go to this summer. And before we get started, I want to be really clear that the sartorial norms I'm going to be talking about are going to be based in Western culture. So if you are outside of Western culture, these norms may not apply to you. So start out by reading the invitation. The invitation will tell you a lot about what to wear to the wedding. There will sometimes be an actual dress code listed on the invitation, which is always really nice. But even if there isn't, you can tell a lot about the wedding and what to expect based on the invitation itself. So if it's on heavy cardstock, um, if there's lots of calligraphy, if it's embossed or engraved, those sorts of invitations tend to be much more formal than invitations that say um, nothing fancy, just love, or getting hitched, right? Those sorts of more casual kinds of invitations will tell you that the wedding will not be quite as formal. Make sure you adhere to any theme or requests to wear something in particular. So if it's a themed wedding, then dress as per the theme, but otherwise don't wear anything that will look like a costume. If you're asked to wear something in particular, then do it, but otherwise avoid being too casual. So unless the invitation tells you to wear something in particular, it's never appropriate to wear shorts or jeans or yoga pants or micro mini skirts or flip flops, sneakers, t-shirts, crop tops tube tops, sports jerseys, track suits, avoid really bold logos or loud animal prints, avoid head to toe sequins or super, super short, you know, clubbing bodycon dresses, uh, avoid anything overly sheer or see-through, um, and basically just avoid anything that's gonna draw too much attention to yourself. You don't wanna wear a tuxedo or a floor length ball gown or show up in black tie or white tie unless the invitation tells you to because we really do not wanna upstage the bride. Mentioning the bride, don't wear all white to a wedding. It's pretty standard. The bride is traditionally in white and you should not be competing with the bride or the bridal party. Also, don't wear all black. Black is what you would wear to a funeral traditionally. So if you're wearing something really funereal, then it's probably not appropriate for a wedding. In fact, in really traditional we weddings, if you were to wear all black, it can signal that uh, to the family that you don't approve of the match. Now, that convention has been uh, lifting some in, in, in recent times, so some people can still get by with wearing a little black dress to a, to a wedding, but if you do that, then just be careful to make sure you pair it with, uh, you know, sort of festive jewelry and try to lighten it up so it does not look funereal at all. With all of these don'ts, the idea is just that you don't want to be too casual and look disrespectful, and you also don't want to compete with the wedding party. So the wedding party, specifically uh, the couple, should be getting all of the attention. They should be the most dressed up people in the room, with the bride or brides and groom or grooms um, getting all of the all of the accolades, all of the focus. You don't want to pull focus from the couple. This is their day and you do not want to pull attention from them. So make sure that in general, no matter what you wear, it's not too over the top and that nobody is going to be looking at you more than them. Think about the location of the ceremony because that will help you know and kind of gauge how formally you should be dressed. If it's in a house of worship, then you will probably need to be much more conservatively dressed than if it's an outdoor destination wedding, for example. In fact, it's sort of helpful to think about uh, different aspects of the wedding on a scale of formality. So you can think about it as from super formal to super casual and different weddings will fall along that spectrum. A night wedding is going to, in general, be more formal than a day wedding. Um, an indoor wedding typically is a little more formal than an outdoor wedding. Religious ceremonies tend to be more formal than secular ceremonies. Side note here, if you are in a house of worship, uh, always come prepared to cover your shoulders because depending on the particular faith, uh, it's, it's considered disrespectful to be with uh, bare shoulders inside some houses of worship. Sit-down dinners indicate that the wedding will be more formal than a buffet. And how will you know that? Well, on the RSVP card, if you're asked to choose your entree, then it's going to be a sit-down dinner. So, you know, the sit-down dinners tend to be more formal than buffet dinners do. Fall and winter weddings oftentimes are more formal than spring and summer weddings are. 
Regardless of how formal or informal the wedding is, remember it's a celebration, so you need to show up looking happy and joyful, wear uplifting colors and patterns, and always err on the side of being, you know, maybe subtly overdressed rather than being underdressed, which can really read as disrespectful. So, for example, you can always kind of hedge your bets if you're not totally sure. So you can always wear a coat, uh, and a tie, for example, and when you arrive at the wedding, you can look around and if it turns out that everybody else is much more casually dressed, you can start, you can take off the tie, for example, or you could take off the jacket. You could make it more casual if you needed to. Um, same goes if you are in a dress, uh, you could wear, you know, perhaps like a, a strappy, you know, strapless dress, spaghetti strap, something like that, put a shawl or a wrap or something around you, maybe have some blingy jewelry, and if you arrive and realize, ooh, I'm really overdressed right now, just take off the wrap, and then maybe you could tone down the jewelry or something like that. It's pretty easy to adjust. Regardless of your outfit, wear comfortable shoes. Your shoes should be really dressy, but also be comfortable since you are probably going to be walking and standing and dancing for hours in them, and you should not take your shoes off in the wedding. Don't take your shoes off. So you need to wear something you can actually enjoy the entire event in your shoes. So if you're a person who wears a suit to fancy events, I really recommend that you check out the Gentleman's Gazette. They have a great video, I'll link it in the description, on suiting and how to choose the right shirt and the right tie and the right pocket square and the right suiting materials for a wedding. So the high level takeaways here are don't upstage the bride and groom, dress for the weather, and if you're ever really confused, you can just watch some of the rom-com movies and see what the people in the weddings in those movies wear. I hope you enjoy all those weddings this summer. Take good care. I'll see you next time. Bye. Newton is on the porch. He sees a bunny. He's trying to figure out what to do about it. Apparently he's just gonna flick his tail.